Hey guys, it's Rena. Welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I've done a couple videos already, but I think I'm going to go and do a slightly different video um, and do a fashion type of video. Um, clearly, I'm not like the epitome of fashion or anything. I'm very much a t-shirt and jeans kind of girl, but there are times when I really like to dress up. Um, at least a couple times a week, I like to do something different and wear statement pieces. And I have found a brand that I really love for statement pieces, and that's Black Milk Clothing. Um, they've been around for a couple years now, and I've been wanting something from them for the longest time. Um, I know that I ended up buying some, like, off-brand versions of their clothes, which I feel really bad about now, but I did, I bought some leggings on eBay, and they were, like, one-size-fits-all, and they were terrible quality, terrible fit, um, just really bad, and so I decided to go ahead and just invest and try something. I remember the exact moment I tried them last year. I saw like a uh, thing on Facebook. It was like a little advertisement that they were having a sale on the U.S. site when they used to have a United States site. Um, and I got really excited and I was like, wow, you know, I've, I've never been able to afford it before. And I never really thought about the Australian conversion rate to, to make it like a little bit cheaper for Americans, I guess. I, I didn't think about it back then, but um, I had just never been able to find the money to buy anything, and when they were on sale, it was like half off of most things, so I bought my first two pieces, um, that night, and it was really awesome, and I fell in love instantly, and then I joined some swap groups, and I found some old things that had been discontinued, um, or sold out or whatever, and I was able to find some pieces that I really loved that I wasn't able to get my hands on directly through Black Milk, so... For anyone who doesn't know, Black Milk is an Australian clothing company. They focus mostly in nylon fabric, um, so it's really high quality fabric. It's high quality material, high quality clothes with good prints, fun designs, um, and they often do licensed, you know, projects too, like Harry Potter. They did Lord of the Rings, Disney, Star Wars, just a bunch of cool licensed gear and. That's kind of what got me into it because I love fandom stuff and I really fell in love with their Harry Potter collection. So um, I'm going to show you guys what I have. I started collecting about a year ago now and I have a nice, like a decent sized collection. Nowhere near some people, but it's a really nice collection for me and I go to these pieces very often. Um, I really love them. That's what I think is important about clothes, is to have clothes that you really love and feel confident in, and I do in almost every one of these pieces. So I'm just going to go through and show you guys what I have. I have the names written down in case you wanted to look them up or anything. Um, I have like the official names. So I'm going to start off with leggings since they are like what Black Milk is most uh, known for. So these are the Call of Napoleon leggings. This is going to be kind of an awkward video where I'm going to have to like stand back, but Call of Napoleon. They are a painting, um, oh god, I'm going to forget the name of the guy, and I really should know. He was a, um, he was a student of Jacques-Louis David, and this painting was commissioned by Napoleon, to my knowledge. Um, it's of a, uh, myth, a mytho mythological story about Ossian, and, um, the painting was commissioned to include, um, famous French military leaders, and Napoleon is actually on here somewhere, if I can find him. I always forget where he's hanging out, so let's see, that's not him. So, well, he's hanging, there he is, there he is. Napoleon's like right over here. So, I studied the French Revolution and Napoleon, so I kind of had to get these. Um, these have been great. I got these uh, secondhand through the Black Milk Clothing Swap on Facebook. Um, what's great about that swap is that they can't charge more than what they were originally sold for, so you're not going to get ripped off. Um, either people sell it for the same price or they sell it for a little bit lower depending on usage. These were a little bit cheaper because there are like some spots on the back where you can see they've been like worn and everything, but it's not, you know, too terrible. These are really comfortable and I think the main difference between like these and the uh, knockoff leggings is the print quality. The print quality is just so good on these, and it's very crisp from far away. They're very sturdy, very comfortable leggings, so I love these. Um, the next pair I have are my Lord of the Rings ones, and these were like my babies. I love these so much. These are the Fellowship Rider leggings. So these have Gandalf the White, you have uh, Legolas, and Aragorn over here. 
um, Theoden is on one leg, and you have just, it's just amazing. It's basically like Rohan and Gandalf the White, and the mountains in the background are beautiful. I get a lot of compliments when I wear these, and I just love how flashy they are. With a black shirt, these are fantastic and just like a real statement piece. Um, just the thing to note about the leggings, the band is really nice and stretchy, but it's also really thick and comfortable, so it's not like, like it's gonna, I don't know, like when you have a leggings with thinner bands, they kind of, if you have a little bit of tummy, like I do, um, they kind of poke in and make it uncomfortable, but these kind of are like kind of a control top, but not really, so they're really nice, um, and they're just really great. What I love about these is they're not too see-through, so like, you you know how a lot of people like to wear longer shirts with leggings. I still do most of the time, but I don't feel like I have to because I don't think my, you know, it's not too attention grabbing on the back side basically is what I'm trying to get at. So, I love black milk leggings. They're awesome. I have one more pair and I also got these. Actually, all three pairs of leggings I just realized I got through the black milk swap group. So, these are the Cheshire Cat leggings. Um I'm a huge fan of Alice in Wonderland. I mean, I have a shirt on. I'm just, it's just like a big part of me is Alice in Wonderland. And um, I have these leggings, which I absolutely love. They're uh, illustrated uh, with the Cheshire Cat in the tree and Alice. And then there's some flowers on the bottom over there. I really love these. I get compliments on these too. They're just really pretty um, and different. And I really like that. You know, you can't just go to the store and buy these leggings. Maybe a hot topic, but um, I have two, or I actually have three tops from them, but one of them is at home and it actually is matching a skirt that I have, so you'll get the picture. The first top I have, I wear constantly. This is the um, cold shoulder top. It's going to be really hard to show you guys. Um, actually, my channel art that um, my fiance's sister drew for me has me wearing this top. So it's called the cold shoulder because... The sleeves kind of go like that. It drapes over the shoulder and it's cut out like that. It's just such a nice, comfortable top that um, really allows you to breathe. It's very like stretchy. You can kind of see how it bounces. Um, so I actually was able to like size down in this top. Normally I'm a medium in black milk and this is a small. Um, I initially ordered a medium and it was like way too big. Like it wouldn't stay up on the shoulders. I could even possibly get away with an extra small in this top, but I like the bagginess. Um, it's just very flowy and it goes great with their leggings, really nice with their skirts. Um, this was a top I wore almost all the time in Paris just because it was so comfortable and easy to pair with outfits. So this is like a must have for me from their line. If you like to wear leggings or anything like that, this is a great staple and it's kind of like, it's got that sass because of the cut out shoulders, but it's still very like classic, I guess. Um, and so... Because I don't have the third top, this is the other one that I have with me now. This is uh, one of my newest pieces, actually. This is from their Halls of Hogwarts collection. So they've done, like, different iterations of their Harry Potter release. And this is, I think, the second one. It's the most recent one. And I love this top. This is the Sorcerer's Stone Boss Top. It's a crop, so it's kind of funny for me. I guess I did the buttons wrong. That's why it's uneven. But, um... It's basically the illustration of um, the Quidditch match from the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone. And it's just so cool. I love this top. This is what the front looks like. It's just the mirror image on the back. You have like the centaur up here. It's Madame Hooch. I mean, it's just so cool. You have the Whomping Willow in the background on Hogwarts. I saw this and I was like, even though I don't like crop tops, like I have to have this. Um, and I've been wearing it tucked into black skirts. So that way it doesn't necessarily look like a crop, but it also kind of looks cute, you know, over jeans and stuff like that, if you're more comfortable. Um, I do love this top, and unfortunately it's not around anymore, but you could find it through one of those groups, like I found some things. So that one's a great top, and I get compliments on that too. Um, moving into skirts, this is the one that I have a matching top for. So this is the Wonderland wifey skirt, and I have the Wonderland wifey crop. So it's almost like this. It just has more flowers on the top, I think. And it's really cute. It's, it's a very, like, it has, like, a, what do you call that? Like, tank top sleeves, I guess. 
Um, and it kind of comes to like here, so I have to be really confident to wear it, but I usually wear it around the summer. But this is the skirt. I really like this one. Um, this is a small, and that's just because it was what I could find in the swap group. The top is a medium, so it fits perfectly. Um, this is a little bit tight, but I can definitely get away with it uh, because my waist isn't too, too big. But I love I love the color scheme. I just love this skirt in general. It's really cute. You can tell it's really short, but I am very short, so I can get away with it. Um, this is one of my favorite black milk pieces, and it was actually like the first piece that I bought, um, one of the first pieces. This is the Jurassic Art skirt. Um, I wore this constantly in Paris this summer, and it's just like so comfortable, and it's part of my like go-to outfit. I got proposed to in this skirt, so it has like a, you know, sentimental place in my heart. Um, this is Monet's Gardens, basically, but with a stegosaurus. Typically, I'll wear this with a shirt that covers up the dinosaur, at least, so it just looks like it's Monet. Um, this is an ultra-flattering skirt. Um, it's the pencil pencil style from Black Milk, and it's the perfect length for me. It's not too short, not too long, um, and it's really cute. And what I like about this, it, has, um, it also has toasty fabric, which some of their stuff does. Uh, so did the Alice Wonderland to kind of keep it in place so it doesn't ride up. This is like reversible basically. It has a different design on each side. So it's another Monet painting with like a T-Rex. So it's really cute, like, you know, facing forward, you can have one side than the other. It's really adorable. And I do love this skirt a lot. It's probably one of my favorite pieces of clothing ever. The next skirt is brand new to me. Um, and it's too long. It is too long and I don't know what to do about it yet but it's a Mondrian pencil skirt, but it's a midi. So you can tell there's a considerable amount of difference in length between this and the Jurassic art skirt. Um, I love art. I absolutely love art. If you couldn't tell by like the pieces I've chose and just in general, I'm an art nerd and I had to have this Mondrian skirt because I just, as soon as they announced that they were doing the state of the art collection, I was like, Mondrian would make a great skirt and they did it and I was like I need it um it's just too long so like the only way I can get away with it is if I wear it like really high with like a cami tucked in and high heels or like pulled up really really high like way too high with the shirt over it that's the only way like it's it's really long so I have to wear this with high heels which definitely limits the amount of times I can wear it so that's kind of sad. I, I, maybe I can find other ways to style it. I'll just have to, you know, play around a bit. So the next piece is another one I found on the Facebook group. This is the Weasley Weather Bottle Girlfriend Tee, GFT. This is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. So I, it's a dress on me. It's not a t-shirt. It's a straight up dress. So I typically will wear this with tights and boots um, or leggings and boots, but usually tights because it's long enough for me to be a dress. Um, I just love the color scheme and I'm a big fan of Mina Lima and I love their graphic design. So I really wanted it, not even for the Harry Potter aspect, but for the aspect of the actual print in general, I really like it. So I love that one. Um, we're getting down to the last three pieces. This is another new one for me. And this is the Monet uh, Pink Water Lilies Maryland dress. So it's got that 50s Marilyn Monroe style. It definitely comes down pretty far. And because I have a slightly larger chest, like it is kind of showy. So sometimes I will wear like a bandeau, but it's so pretty and it just, it has that flowy fabric. So it twirls, you know, this is absolutely beautiful. This print is just gorgeous. And I love Monet um, having been to his gardens this is like such a special piece for me so um i love this it's great okay so this is the queen of hearts scoop neck skater dress they still have this one this one is still available on their website it's on sale right now so that's really cool i love this dress um it's so comfortable i love their skater style and this is the only one i own but i really like how it looks on me um it's the perfect length for me. I know some people think it's too short, but if you're shorter like I am, it fits perfectly. Um, it just looks like this. It has this Queen of Hearts 
pattern on it on both sides and it's just very flowy very comfortable fabric if you live in a warm place like I do this is very very comfortable um, and that looks cute dressed up like with heels or with combat boots which is typically what I'll wear with but and the last piece is one of my favorites um, but it has a different fit so there's some days that I feel like wearing it and some days I don't this is the St. Vitus um, play dress so it has a very high neckline so it's very uh, appropriate I've worn this to professional events I know it's a little flashy but because of the high neckline and the the dark color base and just the shape, I feel that it's very appropriate to wear to like, you know, a slightly professional mixer or something. So it has this stained glass window on both sides. And this is from St. Vitus or St. Vitus, I'm not sure, Cathedral in Prague. Um, so it's a real, real um, cathedral stained glass window. And it's just, the colors on it are just spectacular. And the print is just really fun. Um, it's gorgeous. The play dresses fit a little tighter, so right here, this whole area is very tight. Um, and since I usually wear this with tights, it can get a little saucy, but like it's a great dress anyway, and I really love it. So next time, if I got a play dress, I think I would size up. A medium just fits, but I think I would size up to a large. Um, typically, their sizes are pretty reliable across the board. Like if you wear a medium in a dress, you're going to be a medium in a skirt and a medium and a top type of thing, um, but they're very helpful. The customer service team on Facebook um, through email are fantastic. I've never had any issues with them. They've always responded so fast, and they can help you with sizing, with order issues, anything. Um, they're great. So I guess that's the conclusion of my Black Moon clothing um, collection for now. I don't really plan to buy any more pieces anytime soon. They, they just released a Marvel collection, and there's a couple things I like, but there's nothing I need, so I'm holding off for now. But if you are interested, I'll have a link to Black Moon clothing down below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a little bit different than a makeup video, but I thought it'd be fun to show you, you guys something else that I really am passionate about. So. Yeah, thank you guys for watching, and let me know down below if you own any black milk clothing, if you enjoy them, and uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.